Hey guys and welcome back to our channel. In this episode we'll be going from Stocking Island to the northwest side of Long Island and then down to the southeast side of Long Island to Clarence Town, beginning our journey to the Dominican Republic. Hello, hello. Okay, we are finally leaving Georgetown. Um, it yeah, it's been forever. It is a bit rough out of the cut today. So we're just going, no, it goes, we're only going like 30 miles to Long Island and we're gonna do some fishing. We met this family that had just been over there and they were catching, they were like spearing grouper, hogfish, they trolled, caught some mahi, marlin, like some crazy stuff. So we are ready to get us some fish. Ah. quite often lately so we're just not feeling good right now yep what she said don't go sailing after you've been drinking i'm not drinking again for like a month yet but really good holding all sand our friends are over here just really hoping to get some sick spear fishing in today but it is pretty rough out there so we'll see how that goes we're gonna talk to them they've dove here a lot and got a lot of fish so hopefully they're still down if they're down I'm down so we'll see we'll see look at this cute new windbreaker we got look at this. I freaking love this I'm obsessed we got matching one Oh my gosh. They're so cute. All right. Well, here we are. We did end up going out to do some spear fishing. We ended up in about 50 feet of water, which is the deepest we've ever spear fished in, and Banner still killed it. Honestly, like 40 to 50 feet deep in most of the places, so that's like right at the peak of like my skill level. And I nicked a, ho a hogfish, didn't get him, but then Jagger, the oldest son on there, he's a freaking badass. He can hit like 140 Legend. feet. Uh, but he got this huge snapper. I wish we got a would have got a video of it. How big would you say? Oh my gosh, yeah, freaking huge. huge. And it was like thick too. This is the throat of it. It's a lot of meat. 
Um, and then two huge hogfish fillets. Dang. So we are stoked. We are making some ceviche with this. This is a hogfish. Never had hogfish before. I've always wanted to, so I'm freaking stoked. We're about to head out to go do a little spear fishing. We went yesterday. Um, and today we're hoping to get our own. It's hard. Niagara's a legend. Gets all of them before the rest of us can. <laughs> had a little fish fry and got to hang out for a little bit before Banner and I headed off for our big journey. Sorry y'all, our cockpit is a mess. We're sailing, hitting off. And cockpit's a mess, but... Man, that rail is almost in the water down there. Got two lines out, ready to catch them. Just for this. Some strange floating thing in the water. We're at it maybe like a fishing net or something like that, so we slow it down, but I don't know. We're like two miles offshore. Just some random floating thing. Weird. Sorry, I look a mess, but okay. We just came from, um, I can't think of the name, the other side of Long Island all the way down to Clarence Town. And we got fuel at the fuel dock. Banner did really good getting in there. And now we are cleaning because our boat is a mess, you guys. And I've lost our Garmin inReach right before our super long sail. So, I'm gonna have to tear the boat apart. Um, one of my one of the things that drives me the absolute 
freaking craziest while we were sailing is when stuff is just in the way. Um, like, all the time. Everything is in the way. I just, it drives me absolutely crazy. So, I'm going to clean really good right now. Um, and then when we get to Grenada, this whole boat is being reorganized because I cannot handle it. It's been a long day. A long day. So, just to recap, and I promise we're going to get better at this, but when shit is hitting the fan, to uh, put it nicely, it's hard to grab the camera and start filming. You know, when, when a sail is torn, when our autopilot quits working, when we have a fish that's like running all of our line out all at the same time, it's hard to want to... Yeah. Hard to even... It seems ludicrous to pick up the phone and start videoing, but we'll get better at that. <sighs> um, yeah, so... Had a nice tuna. Couldn't really, it was so big, we were like struggling to reel it in. As we were like almost got it, a shark got it, so that sucks. Meanwhile, on one of our tacks, we had like a little temporary light set up on up front and it tore the sail, the head sail. We do have a backup, it's just been so windy that trying to put up a new sail in 20 knots of wind is suicide and our dinghy's up there right now so it's like and the dinghy yeah it makes it make it even harder so we're gonna wait i duct taped the crap out of it so hopefully that'll at least hold for a little bit um texting dave back at harbridge trying to troubleshoot the um the autopilot it's gonna be a long trip if we don't have it we can still do it it's just gonna be a long trip good news i thought we had lost I thought we had lost our Garmin inReach, which is like how we communicate whenever we have no service. It's a satellite phone, basically. Oh, and I just upgraded the plan to have unlimited text messages, unlimited SOS. So if anything goes wrong, we're gonna be okay. Cool note though. Honestly, some of the seas out there today were like eight to ten feet. Yeah. Eight feet is probably conservative. Like we've seen some big like like, oh, those are probably six to eight foot seas before. and That was uh, nothing like yeah, that. Yeah, these blew those out of the water. It was, we were legitimately, like, going up and, like, surfing all the way down a wave. And yeah, and it was, they were pretty short intervals, too. Super short intervals. So we were, it wasn't too comfortable, but we were quartering them, um, so we weren't really slapping hard. Honestly, we've been in, like, three to five foot seas. That was worse than that. Yeah. Like, we, would, like, would be slapping, but that one was, it was Honestly, pretty easy. Yeah, and a uh, big confidence builder yeah. for us to be in that big a seas. My eyes are like sunburned. Um, but to be in that big a seas and to well, handle cool. it pretty well. Um, pretty yeah. Oh, also at the uh, marina here, you can answer. Uh, there's like big sharks everywhere, which was really cool. Like real sharks. Hi. Like, so, pretty cool to see.